The human brain is the most complex object in the universe, with billions of neurons and trillions of synapses working together to create our conscious experience. Yet, despite all of its complexity, there are still mysteries that elude our understanding. Paradoxes, for example, are a class of enigmatic phenomena that challenge our most basic assumptions and push the boundaries of our knowledge. From the mysteries of time travel to the mind-bending implications of quantum mechanics, paradoxes continue to inspire scientific inquiry and challenge our understanding of the world. They represent a fundamental contradiction, a seemingly impossible situation that forces us to rethink our assumptions and confront the limits of our knowledge. The most famous paradoxes in science have been around since the dawn of civilization. From the ancient Greeks to modern scientists, these paradoxes have been debated for centuries, with no clear resolution in sight. These paradoxes keep scientists up at night, and their implications are often far-reaching. So, let's take a look at some of the most puzzling paradoxes in science. Fermi's paradox should be the most popular paradox in science. The paradox is based on the idea that since the universe is vast and old, and given the sheer number of stars and planets in the universe, it is highly probable that there are other intelligent civilizations out there. However, despite our best efforts, we have not yet detected any definitive signs of extraterrestrial intelligence, such as radio signals or other forms of communication. In 1950, while working at Los Alamos National Laboratory, physicist Enrico Fermi famously exclaimed to his colleagues over lunch, Where is everybody? Fermi had been pondering the surprising lack of evidence of other life outside of our planet. In a universe that had been around for some 13 billion years, and in that time developed more than a billion trillion stars or sextillion stars. Fermi reasoned there simply must be other intelligent civilizations out there. So where would they be? We still don't know, and Fermi's paradox has only strengthened with time. Since the 1950s, humans have accomplished a lot. We've walked on the moon, sent a probe beyond our solar system, and even sent an electric sports car into orbit around the sun for fun. If we can go from rudimentary wooden tools to these feats of engineering in under a million years, surely there would have been ample opportunity in our 13.8 billion year old universe for other civilizations to have progressed to a similar level. The Femi paradox has no easy answer, and there are a number of possible explanations that have been proposed. Some suggest that intelligent life is extremely rare and that despite the vastness of the universe, we may simply be alone. Others suggest that the universe is filled with intelligent life, but that the distances between planets are so great that contact is almost impossible. Still, others suggest that intelligent life is common, but that it is too advanced for us to detect. Some scientists also believe that the chance of finding extraterrestrial life is low, while others believe it is highly likely. Given the current state of our knowledge, it is not possible to say with certainty where any potential aliens may be located, if they exist at all. And there is also a new theory that aliens might not even be carbon-based like humans. That alien life may be based on silicon, since silicon is abundant and somehow similar to carbon. I have already made a video on that. The link would be in the description. Time as a concept on its own is mind-boggling, and time paradox is where things start to go insane. It all falls down to the ability to travel through time, either to the past or the future. This paradox suggests that time travel could lead to a self-contradictory situation. To truly comprehend the intricacies of the situation at hand, let's examine the well-known and perplexing paradox of the grandfather. Imagine yourself as a time-traveling assassin, with a mission to terminate none other than your very own grandfather. After stepping through a nearby wormhole, you find yourself face to face with your father's father, a youthful and spry 18-year-old version of the man you knew. You ready your laser blaster, but before you pull the trigger, take a moment to consider the ramifications of your actions. Here lies the issue, you, along with your father, have yet to be born. If you were to eliminate your grandfather in the past, he would never have a son, and that son would never give birth to you. As a result, the job of a time-traveling assassin would never come into existence, and you would cease to exist, creating an inconsistent causal loop that defies explanation. Another example of this paradox is Hitler's murder paradox. This time you go back in time and murder Adolf Hitler before he becomes powerful. 
similar to grandfather's paradox where you erased the very reason for your birth, now you have erased the very reason you came back in time. In addition, killing your grandfather has a limited butterfly effect, but killing Hitler, you stop World War II and the Holocaust. And also, you stop substantial technological advancements that came along with World War II, which might have paved the path for your time machine technology. Now, if Hitler doesn't exist, why would you travel back in the first place to kill him? Let's take one more example. This time, your cat gets hit by a car near a turn, and you decide to go back in time and fix it. Since you know the exact time and the place your cat dies, you are ready at the location to save the cat. Now your cat sees you from the other side of the road and starts running towards you. Since you already know what will happen, you start running to stop the cat. Unfortunately, a fast car takes the turn and comes towards you at this moment. To not run over you, the driver turns the steering wheel and accidentally runs over your cat, killing your cat in the same way. You suddenly realize you are the very reason for the death of your cat. And now, the question to ask is, how did it all begin, where is the actual origin? It's all a loop in time. Theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking suggested that a chronology protection conjecture must exist, an as yet unknown physical principle that forbids time travel. Researchers are investigating a more fundamental theory, where time and space emerge from something else. This is referred to as quantum gravity, but unfortunately, it does not exist yet. So is time travel possible? Probably not, but we don't know for sure. The cause and effect paradox, also known as the causality paradox. This paradox is a very big philosophical problem that arises when trying to establish a causal relationship between two events. It poses the question of which event occurred first and which caused the other, leading to a paradoxical situation where it's difficult to determine which event was the cause and which was the effect. The paradox arises when there are two events, A and B, and it's unclear which one caused the other. In other words, if A caused B, then A must have occurred before B. But if B caused A, then B must have occurred before A. This creates a circular loop of cause and effect that's difficult to resolve. One classic example of this paradox is the question of which came first, the chicken or the egg. If the chicken came first, then it must have hatched from an egg. But if the egg came first, then it must have been laid by a chicken. This creates a paradox that's difficult to resolve. In 2014, British scientists used a supercomputer to look in such detail at a chicken eggshell that they were able to determine the vital role of a protein used to kickstart the egg's formation. That protein is only found in chickens. But chickens did not really start as chickens anyway. The very first chicken in existence would have been the result of a genetic mutation taking place in a zygote produced by two almost chickens. With amniotic eggs showing up roughly 340 million years ago, and the first chickens evolving around 58,000 years ago, others believe the safe bet is the egg came first. Overall, the answer to the chicken or egg paradox depends on the perspective and assumptions that one takes. From a biological perspective, the egg came first, while from a theological or philosophical perspective, the chicken may have come first. However, regardless of the answer, the paradox highlights the complexity of determining a clear cause and effect relationship between two events. If you don't know, observing or measuring a phenomenon can potentially alter or influence the phenomenon being observed, thus making it difficult to accurately study or understand the phenomenon. It's a very confusing paradox. Schrodinger's cat paradox is an example of the observer's paradox in quantum mechanics. The paradox was proposed by the physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1935 as a thought experiment to highlight the strange and counterintuitive nature of quantum mechanics. In the experiment, a cat is placed inside a closed box along with a vial of poison, a Geiger counter, and a radioactive substance. The radioactive substance has a 50 to 50 chance of decaying within a certain period of time, and if it does decay, the Geiger counter will trigger a mechanism that breaks the vial of poison, causing the cat to die. According to the principles of quantum mechanics, the radioactive substance exists in a superposition of both decayed and undecayed states until it is observed or measured. This means that until the box is opened and the cat is observed, it exists in a superposition of both alive and dead states. 
Therefore, until the box is opened and the cat is observed, the cat is considered to be both alive and dead at the same time, which is a paradoxical and counterintuitive concept. This is an example of the observer's paradox because the act of observing or measuring the cat's state alters the outcome, as the act of opening the box and observing the cat's state collapses the superposition and determines whether the cat is alive or dead. Another example is the act of measuring the position of a subatomic particle can alter its velocity, making it difficult to observe both properties simultaneously accurately. In psychology, observing behavior in a laboratory setting can alter the behavior of the individuals being studied, as they may feel self-conscious or behave in a way that they perceive to be expected of them. In essence, the observer's paradox highlights the potential for the act of observation to impact the phenomenon being studied. It thus emphasizes the need for researchers to carefully consider their methods of observation and measurement in order to minimize any potential influence on their results. Imagine you have a piece of paper with some writing on it. If you were to burn the paper, you might think that the information on it is lost forever. However, according to the laws of physics, information is never truly lost. Instead, it gets spread out and scrambled in a way that can potentially be reversed. Now, let's apply this idea to black holes. Black holes are incredibly dense objects in space that have a very strong gravitational pull. When matter gets close to a black hole, it gets sucked in and can never escape. The point of no return is called the event horizon. According to the laws of physics, anything that crosses the event horizon of a black hole is lost forever. This means that any information contained in the matter that falls into the black hole is also lost. But here's the paradox, according to other laws of physics, information is always conserved. So if information can't be lost, then what happens to it when it falls into a black hole? One possibility is that the information is somehow encoded in the Hawking radiation that black holes emit. Hawking radiation is a type of radiation that is predicted to be emitted by black holes due to a quantum mechanical effect. However, it's not clear how the information could be encoded in the radiation in a way that can be retrieved. Another possibility is that the information is somehow preserved inside the black hole. However, it's not clear how this would be possible either since according to the laws of physics, the information should be lost once it crosses the event horizon. So, the black hole information paradox is essentially the question of what happens to the information that falls into a black hole. It's a big mystery in physics that scientists are still trying to solve. The universe is a fascinating and paradoxical place that continues to challenge our understanding of the world. The paradoxes that keep scientists awake at night may seem like a headache-inducing obstacle to progress, but in fact, they are some of the most inspiring and thought-provoking phenomena in science. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we are reminded that the impossible can become possible, and the possible can become impossible. The universe is full of surprises, and paradoxes are a reminder that there is always more to discover. The quest to understand these paradoxes will continue to inspire scientific inquiry and fuel our curiosity about the world. While we may never fully solve all of the paradoxes that exist, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is what drives us forward as a species. We must embrace the paradoxes that exist in our universe and allow them to inspire us to think deeply and push the boundaries of our understanding.